Hey guys, Jake and Alex. We have another one for you. So in case you didn't know, Tim the Tapman has been predicting NFL games. He has been predicting them wrong. <laughs> um, the past five games he has predicted he has gotten incorrect, and now he has predicted the Super Bowl. So we're gonna catch you up and then kind of chat and see if we think he'll be right on whether the Rams will win the Super Bowl or not. And ahead of the Super Bowl, we want to drop a video for all of you guys. Is Tim the Tapman possibly the biggest jinx in NFL history because the amount of games he has actually predicted wrong at one point or another was actually record breaking. So we're going to take with all of you guys through the scoreboards and through his tweets of everything he did get wrong, maybe on purpose, maybe not. And of course, finally, to his Super Bowl prediction. So the first one, he actually said, can't wait to watch the 49ers get destroyed by the Packers. He actually got this incorrect. The 49ers actually won 13 to 10. And, and a crazy game. And the crazy part is every single one of these games were absolutely nuts with him also partaking. Then next up, he wanted to give us all kind of a double whammy. He said, y'all think I'm a jinx? Here's what I think is going to happen tomorrow. Tampa versus Rams, he took Tampa. Buffalo versus the Chiefs, he took Buffalo. To which the Rams and Buccaneers went to an absolute barn burner, but the Rams took it 30-27. to And then in one of the best NFL games I think I've ever seen, it was the Chiefs coming back late against the Bills and beating them 42-36 to in overtime. I will say, in Tim's defense, this was one heck of a game. I mean, the overtime, he was, like... He was meant to be right. It was supposed to be yeah, freaking right. Yeah, something... There was, like, definitely a jinx that happened because I think Tim should have gotten that one right. But no offense to either team. We love them both. It was a great game. Josh Allen was absolutely robbed. NFL overtime rules suck, and but but Tim is even suckier at freaking predicting. That's ironic because your tag name is oh, Jake yeah, Sucky, yeah. but whatever. Tim actually went on to say, my football picks last week were a fluke. This week, I'm here to show that I am not a jinx for my sports picks. He went Bengals versus Chiefs. He chose the Chiefs. 49ers versus Rams, he chose the 49ers. And in the Bengals versus Chiefs game, it was actually the Bengals who won 27 to 24, and they will actually be in the Super Bowl. And this is probably one of the bigger upsets we saw throughout all the playoffs. Everyone loves Joe Burrow, and seeing Mahomes go down was still pretty crazy. So this is one of the bolder picks that Tim made that somehow was wrong. Like he almost made it like trying to break the streak, and somehow, by some way, he was still right or wrong. <laughs> He was right that he was wrong. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And then we got the 49ers versus the Rams, and the Rams actually beat the 49ers 20 to 17. I mean, in another comeback, another amazing <laughs> playoff game. This was also ironic because one of Tim's good friends, Doc, is a 49ers fan. So you weren't really sure, like, was he trying to jinx? Was he trying to unjinx it? You don't really know. But by the freaking fate of the gods, he was wrong yet again. Another late game comeback there, leading to five NFL playoff games, some of the closest playoff games of all time, all wrong by Tim the Tatman, and the story's not even done yet. Well, it does make me wonder if some of the games ended up having, like, you know, the crazy overtime, simply because Tim was there and he was the jinx. Like, would that have happened if Tim didn't predict it? Uh, I don't know. Tim actually wanted to build the hype of his Super Bowl pick, because now eyes are kind of watching him because of his predictions, so he said, I'll reveal my Super Bowl pick soon and he kind of knows that he might be a jinx because he even said as someone who has struggled with sports curses in the past may I ask how did you overcome it asking for a friend I think Tim is that friend mm. uh, but hopefully he will overcome it in this one as it's now actually SoFi Stadium, the stadium for the freaking Rams, actually putting on their arena the prediction made by Tim the Tatman that the Rams will overcome the Bengals and take home the Super Bowl. It's just so freaking wild to know that a streamer has now made it this far off of being like a freaking jinx, being a sports better. By the way, his sports book FanDuel is now doing a, a bet where they're now betting against him for every single bet that he has made. It's just, it's so crazy to know that Tim the Tatman has made this much out of a jinx. Well, I almost wonder if the Rams putting that on the stadium will actually jinx them and now they won't win. Yeah, like, right? I mean, you think he's like the biggest NFL jinx, right? And now they put it on the stadium. I mean, will the Bengals win actually? I mean, it's already going to be a, a very, very well-watched game, but now I feel like, like Tim has this crossover effect between esports and sports. Which is awesome. If you're a gamer, like this, I was going to watch the game anyway because Joe Burrow, but if you're a gamer now, you want to watch at least the fourth quarter to find out if Tim is going to be right or not. So like he is such 
such a, a valuable asset, not only to you know the Dallas Cowboys technically with complexity, but now to the NFL, which makes him wide open for offers in the future where if the NFL want to co-stream or if a sports book wants to make bets mm -hmm. with anyone, they're going to be looking at Tim the Tatman. Well, they might be making bets against yes, him, but, but yeah. <laughs> but they're still partnering with him. What he is doing right now is so next level genius. I can't even explain it to all of you guys. So will he be right though? Will Tim the Tatman jinx the Super Bowl or will the jinxes finally be broken? We got one question left for all of you. What do you think? Okay, bye. Okay, bye.